What's up, Haunters? Today we're going to be checking out all five of Michael's new for 2024 Halloween animatronics, so let's get started. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been up to date on the Michael releases over the past week or so, they've been putting out a few different animatronics, which is really interesting because we've never really seen any animatronics from Michaels, except for a few different tabletop ones over the years. But it seems like for 2024, they're selling five different life-size animatronics, which is Really cool, and I like to see that Michael's actually starting to get into selling Halloween animatronics now. It definitely was a bit of a surprise to me, though, when I saw them start to release these, because Michael's, I think, is one of the last stores I would have expected to sell Halloween animatronics, but honestly, these five animatronics look really cool, so let's get into checking out the first one. All right, and the first animatronic we have here isn't really a new one because we have seen it at another store before, but this one right here is Chucky. So Chucky right here is really awesome. Definitely not the best Chucky we've ever seen. Home Depot definitely has a better version, but still for what it is, it's pretty good for a much cheaper version. Chucky right here has a couple different motions. He has the one where his arm right there with the knife has a stab motion, and then he also roams around on the floor, which is cool. So the design of Chucky here is pretty good. I think it looks very accurate to the actual Chucky doll. The one thing I do dislike a bit about him is of course that base. A lot of Roman props, I just don't love them for that reason, but I at least like that they put the effort into making the base look a bit different than just having the black base that we're used to. So overall, a pretty decent animatronic, and this guy, of course, it's not the first time we've ever seen him. As a couple years ago, he was sold at Lowe's and Rona, but of course, it is cool to see him back again and of course at Michael's. And moving on, the next animatronic we have here is a reskin of an animatronic that Jemmy has been making a lot of this year. And this soundtrack, of course, is the brand new Pop-Up Witch. So this witch here is a reskin of the Pop-Up Girl animatronic from Jemmy, which is one that's sort of becoming a popular animatronic, I guess. It's being brought to a lot of different retailers, not only Lowe's, but also places like At Home and Canadian Tire. And it looks like Michaels is also getting their very own version this year, but instead of it being that girl type thing, they instead have this own custom design where it's this witch and... Honestly, I prefer the girl version a bit better. I think it looks a bit nicer, but the witch here is still pretty cool to see. So the witch here is definitely a really good jump scare, and it's a decent prop if you're on a budget and you want some a bit cheaper, but still, I find it very weird, the animation for this. It just kind of splits the head in half, and half of it, like, pops up, but then comes back down. I, I don't know, it just looks very weird to me. I'm not sure if these type of props would be something I would personally buy, but still, it's something cheaper, and it's cool to see a witch version here at Michael's. And moving on to the next prop, this one right here is one that is basically going to be sold at every store, it feels like, this year. This, of course, is the new 10-foot skeleton. And this animatronic is very strange because it seems like it's going to be sold everywhere this year. Like, just to name a few, it'll be sold at Halloween Alley, At Home, Canadian Tire, and, of course, it'll also be sold online at places like Walmart, Lowe's, Rona. And also, Home Depot does still have the 12-foot skeleton, which is basically the same thing as this. So even though this animatronic seems like it's going to be sold basically everywhere this year, it's still cool to see it come to Michael's and... Overall, for what it is, it's not too out of a prop. And the next animatronic we got here is arguably the coolest one this year. This, of course, is the brand new Phantom animatronic. So just look at this guy here. He is such an awesome one. I think the Reaper look looks very awesome with the cold and everything looks great. The head, the hands, the lantern, everything overall looks awesome. He's also 10 foot tall, so he's going to be a pretty big animatronic. And he is, of course, outdoor rated, which is... So awesome that tons of animatronics this year are outdoor rated. And he does seem to be a bit of a reskin of that ghost animatronic last year from Spirit. It seems like he has a similar base and design to him. So from what we had last year from the ghost at Spirit Halloween is kind of what we can expect for this guy here. And I'm really excited to see a video of this guy because I believe he was only put up on the website either today or a couple days ago. So there's no footage of him yet, but hopefully he does come to store soon because... I really want to see this guy in person. 
And the last new animatronic we've got right here is just an alright one. This, of course, is a new 8-foot skeleton. And this guy here, I only really say that he's alright because it's just a 8-foot version of the 12-foot skeleton. It doesn't have any animation. It, of course, has those life eyes and, of course, has the light-up chest and everything. Overall, it's basically just the same thing but smaller. Still, the design of it looks awesome. I think the light-up and eye features on this guy is pretty well done, but... Overall, still prefer the 12-foot skeleton, but still, this guy will be another cool one to see in stores. And with all said, everyone, that, of course, is it for today's video. Hopefully, you did enjoy checking out all these new animatronics. Overall, I think it's really cool that Michaels is now getting into the game of Halloween animatronics. A couple of them, of course, are either just reskins or brought back from other retailers, but a couple of them are new original ones for Michaels, like that 8-foot Skelly guy, and of course the 10-foot Phantom, and I guess the Witch, even though it is a reskin, it is new for Michaels. And overall, I can't wait to see these in store. So far for Canada, all I've seen so far has been Chucky and the Witch add to the website, but I hope that the other three do also come to Canada. Usually Michaels, everything they have in the US, they also have in Canada. So I assume they'll come to Canada. So overall, I also just can't wait to see these in store. Anyways, that's it for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.